Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday. It's Market Outlook time. We're going to take a look at the market this week. FIFA Ultimate Team, what you can expect to see during the league on team of the season. Uh, today, of course, is a big day with uh, the secondary leagues coming out supposedly, and not supposedly, it is basically confirmed that we are getting the MLS as one of the leagues coming today because there was an MLS kit that was uh, released on Thursday, I think. So the MLS TOTS SF kit was released on Thursday, so we're probably getting that today and possibly another league alongside that. I think they have to do two leagues today to complete the rest of the secondary leagues because we have this week of League Un, we have next week with Ultimate TOTS, and that's it for Team of the Season unless Ultimate TOTS is going to be like a two-week promo, which I guess it could be. We'll kind of talk through a little bit of that and maybe we're going to be talking about Ultimate TOTS stuff today because we're already seeing a lot of the sell-off that is contributed to contributed to uh, people selling cards for uh, in preparation for next week's Ultimate Team of the Season already, which I think is partially of what we're seeing today with a lot of these cards really going down. Oh my goodness. What is this price I'm seeing for Sergio Aguero? Excuse me, one 0.14 million coins for this Aguero card. Like, TOTS cards, out of packs, in packs, La League on. Let's just go through the list, boys, right? League on TOTS cards absolutely got killed today. Uh, squad battle rewards tonight. Di Maria, 350. Depay, 430. Like, these guys are down a ton. Ben Yedder and Neymar are, are dropping down. Mbappe's 355. These guys are really dropping down a lot, a lot tonight, which is what I would expect. This is what happens in the midweek, right? These TOTS cards are usually their lowest from like Monday to Wednesday-ish time frame. Uh, you know, the Air Division and the CSL cards go out of packs. I've had some people ask me, do, do some of these rise? Maybe some of them inch up a little bit, but I don't think I'm really going to invest in these, man, because I feel like the hype for them, it's only for a few players. I would only buy those. If you're going to invest, just buy one. And if you're going to buy one, then it's probably for your team, right? Same thing with the CSL. Polino, 700K. This guy was extinct. Uh, it was like selling for 1.05 mil just a few days ago, which is pretty crazy to think about. These guys are like 400, 500K. Their value has been cut in half. Uh, it's just because of weekend league sell-off. Um, and people are starting to sell cards for sure because they know some of them could get into ultimate team of the season. Ronaldo is 5.3 mil. What even? This guy was 7.4 mil during the first day of lightning rounds. I, I, I said that in a video a couple days ago too. Look at Lewandowski, dude. 1.8 mil. It's crazy. Werner's under a mil. Sancho is under a mil. It is ridiculous, man, about how these cards have dropped off. And I want to talk about how it's different than last year um, for the Ultimate Tots. I know I looked at this a little bit in yesterday's video, but I want to stress this again, right? The drop-offs that we had in Tots cards last year, the cards stayed decently consistent in value until... Um, the hype ones stayed decently consistent in value until ultimate tots, right? Look at this. Havers was 2.2 million packs. He went up to 2.6 and he kind of chilled between 2.2, 2.3 and 2.5 for the next few weeks until ultimate tots came. He gets released back into packs. He goes from 2.3 mil, 2.2 mil down to 1.5. I don't know if you're going to see those big drastic drops that you saw last year during tots. You will see drops for sure. I don't know how drastic they're going to be, though. Like, look at this for Bernardo Silva. 476 to 200K. Crazy, crazy drops. I don't know if you're going to see the exact same, like, amount of drops on these cards now just because they've dropped so much already. And there's going to be a lot of people that when they see these cards that get into Ultimate Tots, they're going to go and try to pick them up. And there's going to be maybe a little bit more demand. But again... Cards are cheaper at this stage of the year than they have ever been as well. So that's another argument against the point I'm making uh, that these, I mean, do I think the TOTS cards are going to drop lower than what they are now? Absolutely. Especially the ones that get into ultimate TOTS. I'm not saying no to that. What I'm saying is I don't know if that drop is going to be as significant as maybe last year since the cards have already started to drop. But again, this is the year of supply. As I've been saying for most of the year this year, when have you ever been able to see a gold Mbappe for 175 mil or a gold Neymar for 270,000 coins? Did I say million? I think I said million. Uh, 270,000. Look at this, bro. 270 for Neymar. This is one of the best cards in the game. Gold card, right? Messi used to be like 600K 
at this stage of the game in years past. How much is Messi? Is he like 300k? Messi is three. Wow, Messi is under 300k. Is he the same price as? Messi is cheaper than Neymar. Wow, Messi is 260k. This is ridiculous. The just the coin value that you can get right now on the market. Six million coins could buy you an insane squad. Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar, Mbappe, all of the meta and like most popular players in foot. Their gold cards are just so cheap from all of the pack supply that we have had this year in FIFA Ultimate Team. And the amount of packs that have been opened has really, really shown this year. And it's shown with the TOTS cards as well. A lot of supply on these TOTS cards which causes less, uh, which causes more drops in price because more and more people have to go out and sell them, which is why you're seeing guys like Lewandowski drop from 2.5 mil, 3 mil when he was in packs almost, to 1.8 million coins because there's more people on the game that have this card because he was more packable this year. And um, just because this card isn't as hype right now, right? So there's, there's not as much demand for this card at this price. Everybody's all about the new cards. And especially this week with Lee Gunn, with Mbappe, Neymar, Van Yedder, uh, you're seeing all the hype kind of transition to these cards, which is kind of what we've seen every week during Team of the Season. But it's going to get interesting during Ultimate Tots. So basically every single Tots card I think is going to drop during Team of the Season, uh, Ultimate Tots, even if they don't get in, right? Like Mbappe is 3.6 million. Uh, last year, a couple examples that I looked at, right? Neymar's card from last year, his Neymar, Neymar team of the season was not re-released into FIFA Ultimate Team, right? Neymar Tots was not re-released into FIFA Ultimate Team, which is crazy, uh, but it's what EA did. Let's take a look at this and, and let me show you one of the most hyped cards in FIFA. What's going on? What the heck is going on? Footbin. Yo, Footbin. Hey, yo. What is going on with Footbin at the moment? I think we're having some Footbin issues, but I'll just tell you because I know what the graph looked like from last year. Uh, Neymar's card obviously was panic sold into Ultimate Tots. People thought he was going to get in. He didn't get in. He rebounded for the weekend and then went straight back down to where he was in like the same price range as the panic selling before Ultimate Tots because so many cards on the market drop during Ultimate Team of the Season. Can I look at these squads? Yes, I can still look at FIFA 19 squads on Footbin. I don't know what the deal is with the FIFA 20 ones. Um, but I was looking at some out-of-packs special cards as well. Like, look at what happened to Gareth Bale, right? This is Gareth Bale's FIFA 19 foot birthday. One of the, a very, very popular card. Not one of the most popular cards, but just a very, very popular card. Dude, these, these freaking fungus ads are ridiculous, man. I think Footbin's having some issues right now. I think we're having some Footbin issues, but... And I will talk about this more throughout the week this week, but what I'm trying to prepare you with right now is a lot of cards are going to drop off during Ultimate Team of the Season because Team of the Season cards continue to get so cheap that it just drags the rest of the market down with it because people are losing coins based on the SBCs that are coming out, upgrade SBCs, or maybe they're opening packs with coins. This is a time of the year where a lot of people start to think about opening packs with coins and they just start to full send it or, you know, a last hurrah for the for the club, basically, because it's the end of the year. It's team of the season and stuff like that. So you see that a lot often, a lot more often. And that just means that coins are leaving the game. Wow, five, nine. So Benyetter has cracked the six million coin range, which is a GG. He needs to keep falling. Um, but that's the kind of the story for this week. Does, does that... Does that mean that we won't see a weekend league uh, rise this week uh, with rewards? No, I do think we will see a, a rewards rise this week. Even though there's going to be panic selling, a lot of that selling is going to be related to TOTS cards. As we head into Friday throughout this week, a lot of like Lewandowski, Messi, Kevin De Bruyne, Van Dyke, maybe Aubameyang, maybe Sun, those cards are going to drop off in price because yes, people think they're getting an ultimate TOTS, which they might, and they will drop in price. That panic selling is going to lead up through those cards throughout the week. But there's still going to be people that buy teams on Thursday because they know that this upcoming weekend league, the, not the one that we're in right now, but the one that is upcoming right when Ultimate Tot starts, that weekend league is massive because those are some of the best rewards with Ultimate Team of the Season. Think about all the cards that are going to be available from red player picks that week. Just think, it's crazy. Just think about all the cards that are going to be available. So... There will be a weekend league rewards rise this week um, on Thursday. And that's one thing that I was looking at on um, 
I was looking at on Footbin if I could actually load the player. I just want to give you guys, oh my, it's not working, man. I don't know why Footbin, Footbin is literally not working at the moment. This is weird. It's not loading the individual player pages. But for whatever reason, uh, French links last year during uh, League on Team of the Season were fantastic, uh, fantastic flips, right? I looked at a graph earlier tonight on the live stream. It was uh, Anthony Martial's striker card from last year, a foot birthday striker, 87 rated card. He went from like 120,000 coins to 170K or something like that uh, during League One team of the season um, because of just straight hype and because people needed French links. That's something you're gonna see a lot of this week. Uh, and that's something I wanna, I've been saying for the last couple days. And I wanna um, make point of again is that French links this week for or flips, Thursday flips, out of pack specials that are French links are gonna do very well because there's so many um, French cards in the League Un team of the season. The League Un team of the season, which is, I still have a page pulled up on Footbin so I can see this. Look at all the French nationalities we have in here, right? Awar, Mbappe, Ben Yedder, voice crack right there. Uh, Lala, big time French link for Lala Savonier, right? Uh, not this Kamara Andre. I mean, you'd rather just use gold for Lime Mendy for this. Um, but there's a lot of like usable cards. The La La French link, I think is big for me. A lot of people already have French cards in their clubs already. Think about foot birthday cards like this Lacazette. People are, might already be rocking this card. Uh, maybe have a couple untradeable and just other special cards that are French from throughout the year. Uh, there's a lot of people that have French cards. So with that in mind, I'm a big fan of kind of like the linking car cards that link to players that people might get from Reds this week from League on Tots, right? So, of course, we have a couple big-time, big-time strikers in this set, right? We have Osman, who's a kind of a cheaper striker, but he's not French. I really like this Alexandre Lacazette card as a striker option that links to some of the French players in this team this week. I'm a big fan of this card. And just look around the market, right? French center backs would be another place that I would look, especially icons, right? I've been kind of watching this Laurent Blanc card you can see on my transfer list. If I see like a 440 for this guy, uh, well, somebody also likes the 440 buy price. I'll be very tempted at 440. This guy was 500K this weekend. This is like almost a normal fluctuation for Blanc. He goes like 450, 460 in the past couple weeks up to almost 500 on the weekend. And that's about 25,000 coins of profit per card. So that is a GG with a card like this. Even though he is in packs, gonna get supplied during lightning rounds. This is a card that will probably rise up Thursday with rewards as people just need to link their teams together. So that's something to look out for uh, this week. French links for Thursday flipping investments. And then kind of look at icons as well. Not just French icons, but all icons. Ones that go up every week, right? Essien goes up every week. Uh, Makalele, I know he's French, but he goes up every week. Um, who else? Verone goes up every week. There was some, the, some of the ones that I flipped this week were very well. Campbell goes up almost every week. Just kind of go through the baby and mid icon list on Footbin or just kind of think through some players, search them up on Footbin and look at their graphs. Because you, if you see a lot of this, you know, in the past two or three weeks, probably means they're going to do the same this week as well. Because people have a lot of Tots cards in their squads like me and I need icons to link them. So thankfully, I've got Makalele so I can link together, um, you know, some of the cards that are in my team. I can get a link to Aguero. I can get that link to uh, Griezmann that I need. You know, stuff like that. So icons are very useful in a lot of people's squads right now at the moment. They're, they're good for Thursday flipping. Other stuff we need to talk about on the market. Today, obviously, is Monday. It's upgrade pack season. All right, starting today, it's upgrade pack day. So that means we're going to get an upgrade pack. Whatever it is today, I don't know. I have not seen anything added to the code. Um, I haven't seen Footwatch tweet anything. So I guess it could have been uh, a already... Um, a pack that has already been inserted into the code, which I don't know what that would be, but I'm really curious to see what EA is going to drop for upgrade packs today. I know a lot of you guys want to know about League Un Rares, what's going to happen with League Un Rares. And since there's so much over investing on this, I know a lot of people are buying League Un Rares to do packs, right? A lot of people are buying these rares to do packs. But the fact that this, this guy is, ex oh my gosh, are these guys 2K? If you can sell these cards for 1.9 or 2,000 coins, if you bought them in like the 1-2 one, two, one, to, one, two to one five range, I would sell them. I honestly would sell them because this is probably the peak at what they will get to. 
because I only think the SBC that comes out today will require six rares. If it does require 11 rares, then these guys will go up, all right? These guys will go maybe 2.3, 2.5K, possibly, if it requires 11 rares, just because there's so few rares in League Un. But I really don't expect that. I don't think that's going to happen because EA would know so many people would make a ton of money. Um, I don't know. It's it's in EA's hands again here. We're relying on EA for an SBC here. Uh, I would expect anywhere between six and nine rares required for League on upgrade SBCs today. And EA, if you're going to drop an SBC today, do not make it a player pick. Please make it a pack, all right? We don't want picks. We want packs. Nobody wants to click on a player pick, three, see three options open in front of them. We want to see the pack animation. Way much more hype. Is that even a right sentence? Way more hype um, to see it actually walk out. Like, that's the whole point, to see the player walk out in front and be like, I just packed Neymar. I just packed Ben Yedder. You want to see it. So whatever you do today, EA Sports, drop Good SBCs, 81 plus would be fantastic, of course. Uh, 81 plus league gun, unbelievable that SBC would be. Um, and make it a, a pack, not a pick, all right? That's all I request. But that's, again, a big thing. League gun rares, I think they're overinvested. I think they're going to drop today at 6 p.m. UK with the new pack coming out. 6, 7 p.m., they'll be their cheapest. They might drop a couple hundred coins. If you haven't bought a lot of them, like I have, I probably won't be able to buy at that time. But if you're on, that could be a great time to buy. As everybody who thinks they're going to go shooting up a price realizes they're going not, nowhere. They want to get out, on, out of their unassigned because they can't do anything. And that causes the market to drop because people just keep undercutting each other on these rare golds. Uh, that'll be something to watch out for today. And good luck if you're opening packs for sure. GLs if you are opening packs so again a lot of stuff is being panic sold at the moment that's like the major thing that we have to talk about today just panic selling across the whole entire market gold cards out of pack special cards um everything seriously literally everything is down it's just people getting prepared for this week doing upgrade packs um and wanting to buy these league on tots cards and then also people already planning ahead for uh ultimate team of the season which is coming this Friday, very, very soon, and you're already seeing pe people prepare for it. If you haven't sold Tots cards, especially a guy like 99 Van Dyke, uh, I think there's a very high possibility he gets in. You might lose a lot of coins, but this card might be 1.3, 1.4, 1.5 million coins very easily in the next couple days if he does get into Ultimate Team of the Season. So, what I would say to that is, I would sell, right? You would rather just sell now and, and, uh, and take the coins on that card than rather lose 200k in the next couple of weeks. We'll talk a lot more about ultimate team of the season stuff later on this week. Um, you know, maybe watch some of the selling and sell off that is happening. If you want to buy a league on tots card that is not going to get into uh, ultimate tots, right? Let's say you want to buy a tall. I don't feel like a tall is going to get into um, ultimate team of the season. By the way, this guy's dropping like a rock in price at the moment. He's a million coins flat, basically. Um, these league on tots cards are probably going to be a buy. Uh, if you can wait until the Sunday sell-off after they go out of packs, they're probably going to be a buy. But if you need to use them for Ultimate Tots Weekend League, right? As I know it's important to a lot of you guys. You want to use your cards for the Ultimate Tots Weekend League coming the end of this week. Uh, I would buy these guys probably Tuesday, Wednesday time frame. Again, before the guaranteed SBC comes and before Weekend League rewards. For a, especially a guy like Atal. Very hyped up card. Going to be very good in game. Uh, you know, if you want, to, if you're wanting to buy somebody like, um, like maybe Marquinhos, I don't know if he would go up that much. Di Maria would probably go up some. Verratti, he probably won't go up that much. Lala will go up a lot on Wednesday and Thursday because that's a card that people need to link their teams together. This again, the 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 outside backs the past few weeks have been great to invest in out of packs as a little like a quick little flip investment, honestly. And this guy's going to be no different. This guy is going to do well out of packs like Quadrado. And like, um, who was the other guy? Quadrado did well last week. And then the Carvajal did well the week before that. Even I think Hakimi rose on Thursday after rewards, just because people need to link maybe a center back they got and a center mid they got together. And especially with French links, this guy's the best right back in the game almost, in my opinion, uh, besides Trent. So um, this guy is definitely going to do well this week. At some point, he's going to hit a low point. If I see him like 300K flat, I'm going to get really interested really quick because there's only like 15, 17, 18,000 coins of tax if he rises like, you know, 20, 30K off of that. 
And uh, that could be a really, really good buy, um, a really good investment buy. So watch Lala this week. I'm a huge fan of him. Renato Sanchez is another one just because he's very rare compared to some of the other ones, other uh, TOTS cards. Uh, and this guy is right now 530,000 coins on the market. Uh, if I see this guy maybe like under 500K, we're starting to get into the midweek. So these prices are probably not going to fluctuate as much as they have from like Saturday to Sunday now. Like this guy was 650K at one point yesterday. He's down 100 and, you know, 125, 140,000 coins from then. This is the time of the week where they kind of just chill out. They kind of creep low. They hit a low point. Then the guarantee comes out. They kind of go up. Then the weekly rewards come out. They kind of go up even more. So that's how I feel about the league on team of the season cards this week. That's the market outlook for this week. Last thing. That's not the entire market outlook for this week. We have to look at fodder. We have to look at SBC fodder. Before the SBC comes out on Wednesday with a guaranteed TOTS pack, what I would do is if you haven't done a club stock, I still think 84s, 85s, and 86s are low enough to, and they're good enough buys at the moment to club stock. Focus on maybe good links, good nations. Again, center mid, Pjanic, 13K. That's a GG. Screeny R, 14K. That's a GG. Uh, Vitzel is 7K. Rodri, 7.5. Those are actually decently cheap for those guys. Um, but then for the 84s as well, Moutinho is a card that goes to like 6,000 coins every week at some point based on the guaranteed SBCs. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking me, can I buy the 82s and 83s again? Are they going to go like 7, 8K like they did last week for the because of the 84 requirement for the CSL slash Air Divisi SBC? The only problem with buying a lot of those cards is, will they go up? I do think they will go up, yes, because people need to get chemistry in those squads. The only problem is I don't think there's going to be as much hype for the secondary league SBC this week. CSL and Air Divisi are like the two most prominent lower league tots that we get every year. MLS could be cool. MLS could have some hype, um, but I don't know what, what it's going to be paired with. So depending on the players that come out this week, today, actually, the, the players that come out today, what I would say is just kind of monitor that, look into that. And if you see uh, like some really hyped up, really juiced up players. I'm checking the loading screen right now, just in case it says like the other squad, if there is even is a loading screen, um, then, uh, okay. Oh, so it is MLS and is that Latin America? Yes. So MLS and Latin America top. So that makes me think like the, the Liga MX. So yeah, I don't know, bro. I don't know, bros. I feel like it's not going to be as hyped as the um, CSL and Air Divisi. So there might be a rise in some of those cards, but I don't think it's going to be crazy high of a rise. And I think the guaranteed for Lee Gun is going to be 87, and they might even be able to get away with an 88 rated. I know it seems crazy, but since we have Mbappe, Neymar, and Ben Yedder in there, people are going to do this SBC. They might even require an 88 rated squad. I think 87 sounds the most legit. All right, sorry, boys. I'm talking too much. That is your market outlook for this week with Lee Gun Tots transitioning into ultimate team of the season at the end of the week. If you enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.